Hi, I'm Julia Curran. I'm on the U.S. Cross Country Ski Team and I'm headed out to hit the World Cup circuit for four and a half months straight on the road living out of my suitcase. So I thought I would share some of my key tips and tricks for traveling around to ski races, sports activities or whatever trip you're going on. These are really tips that help have helped me um, travel the world all year long. So I hope you enjoy these. Um, these are my little hacks and I think they make a really big difference and are really easy to do. Tip number one. Packing cubes. These are super handy. Um, pack really easy. You can put in here, I got all my gloves. In here, I got a lot of sports bras. And so these are really easy because they pack down super light. You can compartmentalize. So whatever bag you're using, it's really easy to carry on things and separate and keep it all organized in a black hole duffel and you carry on wherever you're going. And you can dump them up and reuse them for the trips ahead. If you're going backcountry skiing or cross country skiing, you can shove it in and have all your stuff. Other thing I like to do, which goes along with this tip, is that I put one set of clothing in my carry-on all in one packing cube. So in case my bag gets lost, I have a set of clothing with me ready to go. Tip number two, reusable shampoo and soap bottles. I have a pack of four here. These are TSA approved, so I can even put them on my carry-on if I'm only doing carry-on. I have shampoo, conditioner, body soap, and face wash, but you can also put lotion in. It's really whatever you want to fill them with. And then I even shove in my razor here on the side. Um, so this goes everywhere with me and I can just refill them and not have a ton of big bottles to travel with. Tip number three, reusable Ziploc bags. Stash your bag, another one keeps your snacks good to go. You can put post ski, post travel snacks on the long days, always have food. Or I even like to put my hard drives in um, for my computer. This is a waterproof bag, so in case anything ever leaks, my electronics are really safe. So I like to bring a few of these. They pack really small, and you can fill them up with lots of goodies. Tip number four. This might really seem really simple, but a laundry bag. Really thin cloth, really easy, packs down, super small. Um, super helpful when you're trying to put in, sort the dirty and clean clothes. You're traveling, you don't really know when you're gonna do laundry, so I like to compile it here keep it in the corner so it's not smelly in the hotel room and really easy to do and turns out it can also just be a normal clothes separating bag if you need to. So super simple, really big fan of this one. Tip number five, time to go pen. Any stains you have on the road, really easy to wash out, do some sink laundry. I also like to bring little uh, laundry soap tube or those sheets that you have. Um, they have these laundry sheets now that are soap in a sheet form. So. Easy laundry tips to do on the road so you can do sink laundry wherever you are or get rid of stains really quickly if you don't have laundry. And of course, don't forget your passport, passports. I have two, German, American, and then of course also my World Loppet passport so I can stamp along the way, track the journey, um, stay safe, and be able to get in access where I need to. So passports are always really important. Find a really secure pocket to stash them in and always put it there so you never forget where it is.